for a pen and pencil case update and my dogs are here in the room with me you'll hear them walking around um, lots some changes some additions some takings away but I'm going to show you what clutters up my work table these days and my desk in terms of pen and pencils so here is a raccoon mug super cute given to me by uh, a friend of the family a friend of one of my daughters and this I always keep Handy. Uh, sometimes this cup is the only thing that can rise above the rubble on my desk and so this has a little bit of everything that I like to use in case I can't find anything else and so here are some craft scissors they're, um, they're interchangeable tips more on those later here uh, just a regular pencil gift from my daughter Blackwing Palomino Blackwing half the pressure, twice the speed, love that with a pencil cap so I can put it in and the tip won't get damaged. Filofax flexible ruler, very nice for um, drawing a line on something on a piece of paper that's in planner rings which can have a little bit of a curve to it. And some pens from Happy Scrappy Kits, all black ink, super fun. This one has a little Hello Kitty charm. So you can see that, a little Hello Kitty charm on it which I like. Uh, this is from the Sanrio store in the local one of the local malls. It's um, ballpoint and writes in uh, red, orange, ink. Very pretty. Gel highlighters are great for highlighting pen markings that have not dried yet, and I always always like to have some gel highlighters handy. And then for other highlighting, uh, I have friction markers. These are two are markers. Here's a friction highlighter. So an assortment of colors going and a permanent two-sided uh, permanent marker for writing on washi and other non-porous surfaces. So again, this pencil cup always stays close by and it's easy to grab and go. There's no zipping or unzipping with this, but it has a little bit of all of the things that I like to have close by. All right, so there's the raccoon out of the way. This is part, this little box, part of a bento box. Um, that I bought in Chinatown and this has some new items things that I want to be sure to give a try before they go into a, a pencil case something that I carry around or that I zip shut so this is some washi tape that's new these are pens that I bought from the Houston um, stationery store called fit here's a pony brown I love coffee ballpoint and some felt tip not felt tip some gel tip pens this is the brown. This is um, Love This Ink. It's kind of a periwinkle. It, it's that color. Here's another black one to try. I think these are Korean made pens. This is a beautiful, beautiful aquamarine turquoise type color ink that I really like. And so those stay close so I can try. Uh, my Twisby Vac 700, I keep it in here. Not a good idea to put in a cup because it would, cotton pens should be stored horizontally. And these are from Tokyo Pen Shop. These are my favorite multi pen of late. These are Pentel Slicky Pens, S L I C C I E. Okay, and this holds three refills. I like it because sometimes I don't want silver shiny stuff on my pens. I don't know, it's just a, a choice some days. And so these are all have kind of a retro look. The blue is, they're called the milky colors. These are from Tokyo Pen Shop. There is a milky pink. These are, there are four colors. There's a milky pink. I wasn't feeling pink, so I didn't get it. What I like about this pen is that the little uh, lever on top that you use to extend the ink is round, has a soft rounded edge and that won't put divots in your, in your binder. So I like that. So those are handy and those are close by. So there's the new things in half of the bento box. Okay, here's a pencil case that's been around for a long time, and I've had it for a long time, and I love it, and it's kind of the in vogue thing right now. First it used to be Aura Kylie pencil cases, then it was the Kipling case, and now it's this one, with good reason. It's fabulous. So post-it notes on the outside. This is carbon microfiber, which means you can spill, and I mean spill just about anything on this, and it'll wipe out with mild soapy water, and I've done that. Fast food, whatever, and it just comes right out. I love it. So this is my... This is the good pens. This is not stationary. This isn't a whole lot of kawaii going on here. These are pen and pencils that when I travel or go to a library, I like to have this assortment with me for projects, for writing, for planning, whatever. So this is cold for my collection, and um, there are other videos on this pencil case out there. Watch them all. 
it's a fabulous case. The interior of all of this case, whatever color you get, is dark brown. This is the one I've had for a long time, and I love it. So I have a very bright, blindingly orange UB highlighter. This is from the UB um, collection at Target. I have a gray mild liner. I have a Sharpie, uh, just a regular Sharpie pen from the Critter collection that they have. I have a Tri Plus fine liner with a reddish pink. I always like to use red or some reddish pink to write my work hours in my planner. These all have clips on them so they all stay in place. I like that. And this is a, I've shown this before, this is from Pen Gems. This is a stylus uh, pen combination and I won this um, on a blog giveaway. Here's my Field Notes um, ballpoint pen <clears throat> and this is from um, Tokyo Pen Shop. This is a, it says lettering pen. It's an italic nib. There are three sizes available. This is the middle size and it's kind of fun. I like to do gothic black lettering and it just makes them from really, for some really cool uh, headings on my planner pages. And I have a small, I always like to keep a pencil. This doesn't have a clip on it, but it's a zebra retractable pencil. Here's some scissors from Jet Pens. I've shown these. I've shown these before. They cut pretty well, and the tip is sharp but protected. Pilot Juice Pens. Still using them. Still loving them. And my favorite coffee brown color. And this is a pretty color. This is 0.38, and I've shown this before. It's kind of a purplish red. Really, really beautiful. Kind of like a Merlot color. And I've shown this pen as well before. Uh, Uniball Signo. This is Black Bordeaux. Thin tip but wet and will write and write and write and write without any skipping at all. I really, really like it. Pentel Energels. These are fabulous pens. Just because you don't have to order them online doesn't mean that they're not fabulous. Um, so I have the blue and the blue is in 0.5 and 0.05 and then the um, purple is in 0.07. These come in all different colors now. You may have to look around or go to the Pentel website where you can order them, but Energels are just awesome. I mean, they just, the link, the ink, I don't know. It's just, it's just a smooth, smooth writing, a wet ink. And I guess that's kind of what I gravitate toward. Uh, Z Grip pen. Zebra makes pretty good pens. This is the cheapest pen in the case and so I always keep one in here. It writes well. It's pretty. If somebody wants to borrow a pen, I can give them this one. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm parting with one of my children otherwise. But Zebra pens, they're good pens really. So I always carry one Always carry one you can lend out. Highlighters, I like to just have the rainbow with me. So I have gel. Always have at least one gel. I have this set of Friction Pastel highlighters that I think are just beautiful. I have this in a marker. I love this color. And here, this is from, I've shown this in other pencil case videos from back in the day. Um, just a long ruler from Jet Pens. So I have access to a long straight edge should I want it. Again, not a whole lot of stickers or anything in here. I have some correction tape here. Here are a couple of my business cards. Uh, Ollie Clip from Canyon Holgate. I'll put a link to her channel. Um, some hole reinforcements and one of those canvas um, file tabs, adhesive file tabs. So when do I carry this? I would carry this if I'm going to spend a day in the library doing research or reading or going to be wait somewhere where I know I'll have access to a writing surface. Um, otherwise, I might, I mean, I don't always have room in my bag for all of those. I might just, but I always keep two pens in my planners, and one is always a multi-pen with the colors I absolutely have to have to finish a page. Um, otherwise, I might honestly just grab a couple and shove them in my, shove them in my purse. But um, to recap, if I have, if I'm going to be somewhere where I'll have access to a writing surface for more than 20 minutes, I'll take this with me. Okay, and so we have my Kipling pencil case. I showed this before. I had another very long video discussing this. And I changed some things. I've hacked some things, done some things that weren't pretty. Um, but let me show you. Okay, so um, this is a set of pens, gel pens that I got from Barnes & Noble. There's like a whole rainbow for like $5.00. And they write really well and um, I stagger the caps because I think they lie straighter and smoother 
um, in the cover. These are pens from Happy Scrappy. Um, Sam always puts a pen in her kits. This one's from Happy Scrappy as well. Good, good pens. Here's one of those red markers from this is a Tri Plus Stedler Tri Plus Fine Liner. Again, always have to have a red close by. Um, my favorite color, Le Pen. It writes kind of a periwinkle pale orchid color. Here's a gold ink pen, and that's just for like really embellishing titles and something on the planner pages when I decorate them. I'll make gold dots and they'll glisten a certain way. I mean, what can I say? Um, okay, so here, Romani at Romani's Realm, and I'll put a link to her channel, had a brilliant idea. She um, took a piece of black elastic and stitched it on two sides across this back panel and then she was able to slide in stickers and papers and so forth. I, just brilliant. I mean, that's what she is, right? Well, I did that and, well, I didn't sew. I didn't do that, but I used rubber bands to do the same thing and have them go this way, which is pretty cool. Um, I found that I was able to I didn't be. Too, I don't know. I, I guess I had a wild hair moment. I said, you know, I don't need to carry all of these pens with me all of the time. So let me just remove that little black thread, thinking I was going to sew it here. I don't know what I thought, but anyway, I removed it, and so now I use the rubber bands, which you know can come and go as I please, to hold stationary items on both sides of the panel. And I tried it leaving the um, the pen loop elastic here, and it kind of bulked it up, bulked it up a little bit. And so I just, I was feeling intrepid, and so I ripped it off and put on rubber bands. What can I tell you? Okay, so here is a Filofax zip pocket insert, as you can see, with stickers. I carry some in my planner now. I'll do an update later. These are from Allie Brown. She has watercolor stickers. This is a beautiful quality. This is chartreuse. I love this color. I have some, I think I bought at least one sheet in all of her colors, but they're beautiful. So if you want an alternative to market dots, um, this, these are good. And since they're the size of a credit card business card, they fit in all those slots and most of those slots that we have in our planners and in our inserts. Some uh, planner stickers that I've colored with Copic markers and stamped with black ink. And let's see, so I did some nail polish ones. Um, travel, plane trip stickers, blessing the house stickers, reinforcements, dry cleaner stickers. These are some washi diamond stickers. They're beautiful. And I got these from Once Upon a Washi, which is an Etsy shop. Beautiful stickers. I mean, they're true washi tape and they're gorgeous. Some market dots, laundry day, and uh, this is take your lunch to work day. Uh, grocery shopping, lunch stickers, haircut stickers, and take care of the dog's day. So those are in here on this side of the rubber bands. I also have uh, an empty field notes book. So if somebody needs something, I don't know, it's just a, a little booklet, something I can journal in if I want to. Um, and I don't take this with me. And I said in my first video in this case, it's too big, it's too heavy. But sometimes I'll leave this on the kitchen table and if I'm working there to be with a family. More market dots, reinforcements, and sometimes I'll replenish supplies in my other on-the-go pencil cases with items from here. Happy scrappy to-do list. Here is a day timer. Um, Filofax personal size paper lined on both sides. And then you have the rubber bands. And so on this side, I have a cool metal stencil. You may have seen this out and about on Facebook. This is from uh, an Etsy shop. I have some uh, sticky notes. I think I got these from Yozo Craft online. Another Ollie clip. Some of those Barnes & Noble arrows. My gosh, I have tons of those. And I use them all the time, but they just don't go away. And some um, stickers from Translucent stickers from these. I think I got these from Mochi Things. I think Hobonichi has something similar to them as well. Oh, my round ones I got from Hobonichi. These are from Mochi Things. And this is a Hobonichi, <coughs> excuse me, uh, photo file. And this is, I can stick this in my, one of my cases or in my bag to go. And I have just layered um, masking tape or masking stickers in the background with little pieces these were given to me by Canyon Holgate in a rack that she did in the Kipling Facebook group. Hey girl, I love these, love these. So I've layered, you know, background masking tape, 
with stickers on top. Here's some more of those washi stickers, like the diamond stickers. This is Once Upon a Washi at Etsy. I, I can't say enough good things about them, and they're just so pretty. And just various stickers here, Happy Scrappy and Hobonichi stickers. I use these with some color coding in my planners. And so if I want a small assortment of stickers without pulling out my big sticker binder, which I'll share in another video, I can take this with me. And if I have a Midori with me, I can kind of I can open this and wrap it around an elastic, and then I have stickers to go. Okay, so what else do we have here? I'm trying to make this quick. I'm at 15 minutes. Well, I may do a part two, maybe not. Okay, so last time I showed you that I had this repositionable adhesive. This works great for making a sticky note out of just about anything. If I don't want to wait for this to dry or if I think this is going to add lumps to the pages, it usually doesn't. But I use this from Michaels, this Recollections Repositionable Adhesive. What I've been using this for is in my Chic Sparrow A6 Traveler's Notebook cover. I have a video on that. I'll link it below. Um, the decorations, the things that I glue on the outside of my covers, I'm gluing them with this repositionable adhesive so that as I move to a new notebook, when I need more pages, I'll just remove the decorated item and move it to the cover of the book, the new booklet that it's um that's replacing it and so this is nice for that and it's just you know a tape runner but it's repositionable and in that video that I talked about I have uh, a box each of the two kinds of canvas uh, index tabs um, I love the look of these they tend to split these don't split but they can be trimmed they're, they're fun I'm really enjoying using these and I got this from Amazon so I have some decorative tape here's coffee bean and uh, strawberries. I think these are from the Once Upon a Washi shop as well. Okay, the, those scissors that I showed that were in my raccoon pen cup over here. Okay, you can switch out this part. I got the whole set of these for three dollars. I'm not kidding, three dollars. And they work. They really work. And so I had decorative scissors back in the day. I gave them away because I wasn't using them. Um, I thought it might be fun to use the decorative tips for snipping off corner pages in my week on two pages, kind of like uh, to make a um, an index. And so I thought um, maybe I'll try to use the decorative um, tips, scissors for that. Uh, Post-it notes. These are from Barnes & Noble. These are from Happy Scrappy. And these are cute. These are beetles. I have some cute erasers. My Melody. I like my Melody. This is from a co-worker. Gave it to me on Halloween. Super sweet gal. Uh, some index tabs. Got these from Staples. Really cute. Here's my Midori insert kit for making Midori inserts. I have an elastic that can work on my A6. Um, and so I have, I sew with um, wax dental floss. Here's some cute decorative thread that I got from a purchase. And I thought, well, I could always sew an insert with that. This I can do a bookmark with. And I have some clips. I use the clips to hold the pages of the inserts together while I'm punching holes and while I'm sewing. And then I have some needles here and a pin. Oh, I used the, the pearl-headed pin to poke a hole in my glue bottle. Um... So if I need to do some gluing, I can do that. I can open that bottle. Nothing's more frustrating than sitting down to do a project and realizing that your glue is like trying to scrounge a pin at from somewhere at 11 p.m. at night. Anyway, moving on. Uh, here's some more decorative tape. This is my Melody. Corner rounder. Love it. Hobonichi tape. Not using this. Maybe this could come out. Hobonichi Translucent Highlighter Stick-On Rings. I like those. Uh, sushi Person Eraser. Pencil Cap, in case I need it. Some Macaroon uh, Clips. More clips, clips. Clips of all kinds. Clips. Uh, correction Tape that doesn't want to stay closed, but this is the Oops brand from Staples. This work re works really well. And then this is, that's, yeah, this is correction tape. This is adhesive. I got this from Target. It's double-sided, obviously double-sided adhesive, and it's permanent. Um, stapler from um, Chet Pens. I showed this in a previous video. 
uh, craft blade to trim inserts if I want to. These are file tabs from, again, Once Upon a Washi. Um, I put a sticker on there, and if you use these, you need to... I don't know if I showed this how to use these, but they open and close and they snap. And if you want to use these, they're awesome. You can get like a package of like a dozen of them from Laura's website. And you open it all, all the way, okay? And so your page has to go all the way to the back, okay? And then you snap it closed and then it stays there. If you don't put it all the way, if you don't do it right, it's not going to stay on. Okay, macaroon clip. Um, here is an eraser from Jet Pens, and I'm not opening it at all. There we go, just a plastic eraser, kind of cool looking. Hoping I'm in frame, I'm sorry if I'm not. So that's that. What else did I show you that might be? Okay, this is from Jet Pens. Another cute eraser, um, coins from places of past travels, pencil leads. Martha Stewart tabs and some of those canvas tabs that I like. And clips galore. Clips galore. Just like, you know, it's so easy to just store these and just throw them in. And I, when I have these Ollie magnets, it happens whether I do it on design or not. So I have some of the Odo clips. Those are super cute. They're just cheerful. Ikea, um, somewhere, probably Michael's. Midori shamrock clips. I love that. And the Midori elephant clips. These do not want to stay on my pages. I don't know why, but I love them. Miscellaneous clips. Another Odo clip. Here's the Ollie going coin. Um, Lara's Etsy shop. This was like a dollar and it's beautiful. I love it. And <clears throat> excuse me. Here's one from Happy Scrappy. And uh, yeah. Here's from, this is from Happy Scrappy as well. And anyway, so why am I carrying all these clips? Well, I like them. And here's a new Ollie clip from Ollie Block on Etsy. Um, I like to have them. If I'm working with onion skin paper and my notebooks, I sew my own Traveler's Notebook inserts, um, and, and I use uh, onion skin paper for that. This I got, I think I got this from Mochi Things too, or Yozo Craft, Yozo Craft I think. Um, when I'm working with onion skin paper, I like to use Ollie clips because they don't mark or rip up the paper. Um, I like to do that, and I typically do that myself once I start using it, not by design. Um, and I like decorative paper clips. Those are fun to mark my current pages in my planner. But Ollie clips are, are always a go-to. I mean, they can clip together. The big ones can do a whole big section of fold out calendar pages in my ring bound planner easily and again with onion skin paper there's just um, they can't be beat and so you know if I get a miscellaneous clip in a kit or someone gifts it to me I throw it in here and then I get this but it, it's kind of fun I like it it's like planner jewelry right okay so that's it for the pencil case thanks for watching my channel thanks for sticking with me through this video more videos are coming up I can't tell you when and where but um, subscribe like if you like the video and have a wonderful day. Thanks again.